Well, I want us to find some middle ground. As a Republican, a conservative, constitutional conservative who's pro-life, I saw what happened after Roe v. Wade because I represent a very purple district, as purple as this dress. Republicans and vulnerable House seats are looking to avoid abortion becoming their undoing by offering policies that differ from more conservative members of the party. Representative Nick LaLota told Politico he is looking to take a common sense approach to abortion policy and believes Democrats will be unsuccessful in making it the issue to unseat him in 2024. Representative Nancy Mace has been vocal in saying Republicans will lose huge in future elections unless they find a middle ground on abortion. And I saw the sentiment change dramatically. And as Republicans, we need to read the room on this issue because the vast majority of folks are not in the extremes. We're going to we're going to lose huge if we continue down this path of extremities and finding that middle ground. The vast majority of people want some sort of gestational limits, not at you know not at nine months, but somewhere in the middle. They want exceptions for rape and incest. They want women to have access to birth control. These are all very common sense positions that we can take and still be pro-life. The 2022 midterm elections came months after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and its majority opinion in Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization, sending abortion laws back to the states to decide. The 2024 House elections will run in the shadow of the presidential race. President Joe Biden has made abortion rights a campaign rallying cry more so than Republicans have done with abortion restrictions. Former Vice President Mike Pence has been the most vocal GOP presidential candidate on abortion. So I want to say from my heart, every Republican candidate for president should support a ban on abortion before 15 weeks as a minimum nationwide standard. Republicans are looking to hold on to or expand their majority in the lower chamber of Congress in 2024 after regaining control of the House in 2022.